Today we're gonna to be buying fish from every single fish store that we can find to add them to all of our saltwater ponds. So we're gonna look up some stores on Google Maps and find as many as possible on there and drive all around town, all around Florida, just to buy some fish. Let's get some cool ones today. We're stopping at our first of many fish stores today. We're hitting every fish store in the state of Florida around our area, literally. In, a, in an hour distance, an hour radius. Think of it as not, you're looking at a map, one hour radius, we're hitting all the fish stores in that, in that radius. And we're gonna see if we can find some cool fish. We're bringing you guys into every single store. Let's go. We're gonna go to the store together. We're gonna try to buy some cool fish, and if they have anything cool, we're buying it. We don't know where we're putting them yet, in terms of where, which pond or aquarium, but we're buying some fish today. Let's do it. Store number one's looking like a fail. As you guys can see, look at all the uh, empty tanks here. It's pretty crazy. Isn't that freaking cute right there? What is that? Spiny box puffer fish. Thirty dollars. That's a good buy. I actually just caught one yesterday. Big boy. Look at this thing right here, guys. That thing is sick. I never really see those guys a lot. Majestic angel, two fifty. That thing's got some nuts color on them, dude. I would definitely want to get one of these guys. That is very cool, but it's already sold, so we can't get that guy today. And we're not going to tell you guys what we're getting. We're going to go to each store, we're going to show you guys the fish, and then you guys are going to have to you know, guess what we're buying. But at the end of the video, we're going to unbox all at once. Store number one, we're going to buy our fish, and then we'll head over to store number two. We got our very first day. <laughs> Jack. What? <laughs> Jack, what? It's Monday, it? dude. Let me just let me regroup my thoughts, please. Holy crap! We got our very first day. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh my god, it's hilarious! I don't that know why that's bad. funny. That was bad, man. <laughs> all right, there you have it. Store number one in the books. We walked away with one fish. You guys will see it after we hit all the other fish stores and take home some awesome fish. I'm hoping maybe get two or three from the next one, and then maybe four or five from the last one. We get like eight fish. My thoughts on the first store was, they didn't have many fish, not many options, but <laughs> they did have a couple cool ones. And we had to make a tough decision, but we got a nice one. We did. We got a nice one, dude. I'm hoping the next stores have, you know, better selection. We spent, I think it was $74. $74, I'm hoping to keep this under 2K. Look at all the orders we have back here. You wanna go shop. This We just ran a weekend sale, you guys crushed it. If you wanna go shop, click the link down in the description. We just dropped a brand new hat. Check out that hat right there. This is, Definitely an awesome one. Chris, where the heck are you going? Go straight. It's oh, okay, man. You know, sorry. it's Monday. You're, 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 you're robotic. <laughs> I am literally useless today. I am useless today. You guys. really are, dude. You I'm really serious. are useless. It's all right. Let's head to the Pope. That's a good chunk of them right there. It's a good sale. You guys really took advantage of it, which is awesome. We like, you know, giving you guys deals so you guys can save some money. She's a fish girl. Trust me. She's hyped about the sale. This is a good sale, right? <laughs> Sure was. A lot of orders means you gotta go in the post office and get a card. And fish guy, there you go. Fresh water at all or no? Yeah, there yeah. you go. Keep tossing them. Guys. People love the fish guys, dude. You guys are fish guys? Amen. Become a fish guy, dude. I'm telling you, it's takeover. 2023 takeover. I'm gonna wheel these in. I'm gonna sort them in the back. You know, I, they, they love me so much and Chris so much that we get to put you know the priority and the priority in the first class in the first class. We help out our post office people. We love them. We're on our way to store number two, guys. I'm fired up. We're in some terrible traffic. We luck on this journey at 11 o'clock. It is 2.16, we've only hit one store. We are driving. <laughs> We're not even covering ground 80% of the time. <laughs> We're in standstill traffic. Stand still traffic. Three hours. So bad, dude. Three hours. So be ready for store number two because I'm gonna be fired up when I get there. It's gonna be dark when we get there. It's gonna be dark when we get home. That's an actual fact. fact. Put the AC on. <laughs> it's so hot back here. The Aquarium Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, the third edition. We are here. This store is not one I've been to, but it took us a little over two and a half hours to get here. So, um, I'm just old man. I mean, we're gonna I flatten mean, him. I mean, get, wake up. <laughs> they split it. They split the car. <laughs> He's the one to surround the vehicle. One goes, come on, buddy, come on. And the other guy walks around, he's trying to kill his friend. <laughs> Waving us to go, my mom's friends in the parking lot. Oh my god, it's 
<laughs> Let's go into the Aquarium Kingdom, the third. Let's go, see how many fish, man. I've been in this car for way too long. Pop us home. Holy <sighs> cow, dude. Queen tank, man. That is the first tank you see when you walk in. That is spotless. Ooh, look at that grouper. Oh, that's the biggest V tail. That's a V tail. That's a V tail grouper. I'm pretty sure. That is the biggest one I've ever seen. Suppose there's a, there's a panther grouper inside here. It's sold. What is that, Chris? That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think it's clown tank. Clown tank. This, this store is actually sweet, dude. Yeah, a lot, a lot of hog fish. Stuff. A lot, a lot of good fish. stuff in here. All that right there is one of the weirdest fish I've ever seen. It's a leek fish. Reminds really? me of an angler fish. Yeah, it looks like kind of like an angler fish. Pretty dope, though. That is an option for us. That's Look, a creepy fish right there. Look how cool that crab is. Oh, that's that a sick hermit speck crab, of white, dude. like crazy. Extra large hermit. How much? Extra large hermit. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, he's a steal. That's a guaranteed lock. Look at the size of these eels. Holy cow. Nothing for sale? Or the test lottery sold, and then the zebra is not for sale. It's a big zebra, dude. You know those things are coiled in there too. That's a big tank. What is that? Like 250, 300? That's, That's nice, bro. Dude, look at that Tesla. That's a big Tesla, dude. I don't know what just happened inside dude, there. Dude, that was the weirdest experience of the store I've ever I've dealt ever with in my life. Guys. We got two fish that are really nice. You guys will see when we get home. Now we're going to our third store. So we have a total of three bags to open. That was a weird experience. That was a. That was really weird. Very rude in there. Not the best experience. Like, let's go to our store number three and see if we can add a couple more bags to our collection here. And then the ultimate store unboxing. We're at store number three and uh, let's see what they got at this one. Jack, do you have anything to say? I gotta say that I'm excited to be at the last store Good. because I've had it up to here with this car. I was in a car for three hours yesterday driving, so I'm done. I'm not one to be really huge into the community style fish, but look at that clownfish right there. That is the coolest clownfish I've ever seen. Looks like a looks like a panda bear clownfish. Black storm, 130 bucks. Look at how cool that, that is, is though. Cool, though. He's so personal, and this guy's got a problem with me. He just won't stop looking at me. But that clown is actually really damn cool. Check out this aquarium, guys. Nice and long. <laughs> it is nice and long. It's really unique. I think we should buy one of these, Jack. It's cool, dude. You put that on the windowsill of the kitchen. It could be nice. You it's might suffer thing. with some algae, but for the most part, you stay on top of it, it'd be pretty cool. I've never seen, actually, I've never seen yellow, all yellow damsels, though. Oh, what? We it's should a pop those? Pure Look. yellow damsel. All right, check that let's thing get out forward. Over there. And that is $3,000. Coral? Is that a carpet sponge? So the coral is an anemone. Okay. It's a carpet anemone, that's what it is. It's actually crazy, come look. He said the other day, or yesterday actually, it was filling up like this half of the whole entire tank. He had to stop feeding as much because it just kept growing and growing and growing. That thing is absolutely crazy. All these fish in here literally are in harmony. We got our last store's worth of fish now. $75. I think we got some pretty good stuff today. We did the, we did do this on a Monday, so I think we need to do a, a Friday a edition Friday, yeah, of this sure. when they just when all the stores get their shipments on Fridays. The Monday edition store spree has concluded. Alrighty, our grand total at the fish store was seventy four dollars. <laughs> and <laughs> Jack is seriously a horrible fish guy today. He cannot speak to the camera <laughs> at all. We have officially completed our buying of all the fish stores, and I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of how much we spent at each store. So, at our first store, we spent $74.90. At our second fish store, we spent $123.03. Big spenders at the second fish stores. The last and final fish store, we spent $74.89. We'll pop up the total right here. If I had to guess, I'm saying it's about $278. Was I right or was I wrong? I think I'm pretty accurate. I think you're accurate, Jack. I think on a Friday, it will be a lot higher. Boy, oh boy, am I happy to be Whoa. back home, ladies and gents. We have five bags, I think. Five or six bags. We're gonna start with my store. So we're gonna start with our first store, which is right here. This is store number one. Let's unbox. Let's, let's take a look here, store ladies and number gents. One. This is a good start, dude. When I saw this fish there and we were gonna get it, I was like, it's a nice this is fish. a good start. Check that thing out. Look that at that. Nice. That is a cool, healthy size fish. This fish is extremely fat. Good size. Five, Five inches. inches about. He's cool. Bunch of color on him. Orange, red, Purple. indigo, violet, yellow. Epic fish. Let's go. All right, we got our guy acclimatizing. He's done. Let's get this guy Come in the on, bucket. Let's do it. All right, here we go, Jack. All right, get him in here. Let's go. Oh my God. He's Easy. Out. Easy. 
Welcome to your no home. Your no home, huh? New home. Cool looking fish right there, baby. He's a little curious guy. He only swims with like the two side fins. That's so weird. Barely uses the back. I think he uses it as like a rudder. That is cool. Really cool fish there, Chris. Good, uh, good choice. I like it. Thanks, Jack. Fish number one. Me too. Let's get into uh, fish number two. Dos Let's get into bag number two. Our, bag number two. This is the hermit crab we saw at the second store. So this is store number two. This is the big hermit crab that we just had to get. I think it was we had to get it. It doesn't look like much inside here. It's got a really cool looking shell though. Take a look at that. I know when we saw him at the store inside of the tank, it almost looked like it had like white and blue spots. But this guy's, he's hairy. He's got a lot of spots all over him. That is a cool looking hermit crab that we're gonna add him to the big pond because we already got a hermit crab in there and he's thriving. Right there you guys can see our other hermit crab down on the bottom doing really well. He likes to hide inside of the rocks and when we put food in here, this guy goes around and he gets active. He's not afraid of pots and pans whatsoever. He cleans up the bottom of this pond really dang good. All right, let's put our uh, giant hermit in the pond. Should I just drop him in? Yeah. Ready? It'll probably fit. Whee! Let's there see what he goes here. Here we go, we're getting into the big dog. This fish is epic. Wait till you guys see this. What is this, at our last store? No, second to last this store. This is second store. Second store with um, green water for some reason. Weird people, they, they fill their tank with pee. Yeah, literally. That is, is like that? really weird. I guess it's medicated, so we definitely don't want to put it inside. We don't want to add this water to the pond, but that is the biggest V-tail grouper I've ever laid eyes on in my entire life. That is a beefy boy. That beefy is, nacho loaded griller from Taco is, Bell right there. Really cool looking, oh, see the wicked? All right, buddy. Real quick, ew, that is just gross. That thing is so dope. So though. epic looking, crazy looking print. So damn cool, there's the V right there. That's a beefy, that's a good one right there. Come on, Jack, let's get this guy in. This guy's sick, yeah, buddy, this I'm gonna guy love is this. so cool, look at that. That is so cool. He's gonna go right to the rocks. See you, buddy. Right down there, you got a big home. There you go, right in the rock. He's gone. He will definitely be out though. This guy, groupers, especially like the V-tails, I don't know, for some reason, they come around quick. They eat right off the surface cool. really quick. They're awesome. You guys, we've been discussing a lot about the fish warehouse and what we're thinking that we may do as a new change up for the garage mm -hmm. is remove all the ponds in here. We have our big fish in here, pots and pans, but we've been struggling because we cannot put anything in here because they kill everything <laughs> and I almost just tore my but <laughs> your groin almost like, came out too. Literally, that could have been bad. <laughs> I literally slipped oh, on that. Oh my god. So I think it'd be huge because literally you cannot put a single fish, not even a glass minnow inside of that pond and no, without pots and pans killing it. Literally, you. I put a glass minnow in there. Oh, let's have a glass minnow. And pots smoke a glass minnow. If we can get a smaller pond, but still big enough for pots and pans, keep pots and pans by themselves. And then when we do come across that rare giant fish, yeah. we'll put it with them. But other than that, this is just taking up 80% of this garage. We want more fish. And we cannot put anything with it. So we're it. thinking a really big 15 foot tank or a 15 foot pond along the wall, all right there, like a big oval one. We'll have pots and pans in there and any other big predators. Then maybe another oval slash rectangle pond over here. Everything will be thousands of gallons. They're not gonna be small ponds. But instead, we can have multiple big ponds in here instead yeah, of just one way big better. one. We can do one huge pond for straight up community fish. Massive community so fish cool. pond. Massive predator fish pond. We can do some crazy stuff. Massive shark and stingray pond. We have multiple different ooh, categories. Ooh. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. We'll make it happen. Let's get into our last What do you bag say? Here. I think we do it. Like actually, I'm actually fired up about it. I think we do it. I think we do it too. All right, let's get into this last bag, Chris. Hey, you know what? So this is your favorite fish. Why don't you do the honor? This is my this favorite is your, fish. Your... Let's go back first. I'll throw these out, Jack. I'll dump this piss. <laughs> Follow me into the backyard. Guys, also in our next video, we're gonna be chumming my dock here for 72 hours. So be ready. All right, let's do this. Have they even seen it yet? I don't know, they probably have. Look at that thing right there. I'm super pumped about this fish because I'm a big clownfish guy. I just added clownfish to my mini pond here and it's so sick. And this guy is one we don't have. They this guy's all orange. He's, yeah, he's, uh, he's whiteless, he's yeah. bandless. He's no got no whites. stripes. Yeah, it's sick. He's so cool. So I have striped clownfish in there, I have a black clownfish in there, and I have a white clownfish in there, but I do not have an all orange, it's no cool striped clownfish. And he's super cool. They did have a uh, storm clown for $140. That thing is dope, dude. Is I'm crazy. addicted to clowns. Put him in the tank? Sick. I think we put him in, dude. All right, here we go. Welcome, buddy. You got tons of friends. That's See you later. so dope, dude. Look at that clown. <laughs> that thing is sick. Now, he's another one that really stands out well with the clownfish. So cool. Watch this, guys. I'm going to feed him. Dude, look at that 
dude. Here they go. Look at all the fish. They love it. They're they love, grubbing. I love the clowns, bro. They make the pond look so cool. And especially that new, like, I forgot what that guy called it at the store. No white stripes. It's just super unique. You can spot him out like a sore thumb. We got our three unique clowns, which is the white, black, and now the all orange. And then the rest are just the regular clownfish. Guys, we had a freaking long day today. My we didn't God. Not, we were like, yeah. We could have made it to New York at least, driving. At least we didn't get sunburned today. It's huge. It's huge. I did put sunscreen on to prepare though. Thanks for the urine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to do this again on like a Friday and just go to around all the stores again, show you guys what they got and buy some cool fish when they just get shipments. Better so selection for sure. If you guys sure. want us to do that, drop a like on this video and we'll make that happen. Also comment below about the ponds in the garage. We want to know your opinion. Let us know what you guys think about that. I think we should definitely do it. See you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs>